Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I'm going to be explaining how to make billions off the stock market in GTA 5. I have done videos on this in the past, but today is going to be an updated version of it, including a couple shortcuts and also just a better explanation of how this works. So the first thing to note is that there are two stock markets in the GTA 5 story mode. There's the LCN network and BOSSAC network. LCNs can be the one we're focusing on because BOSSAC won't work for this method. So this method relies on the idea that the stock market or the LCN market is cyclical. And what that means is that over time, the price of stocks will go up and then down and then up and then down. They may happen at random times or go to random prices, but a stock in this game won't just only go up or just only go down. There will be ebbs and flows. So that's a very important concept to understand. So now that we understand that, let's get into the method. So the first thing you're going to have to do is create a save file because in case you invest in a stock that keeps going down and doesn't go back up, instead of taking a loss on your money, you can just load up the save file before you invested so that you still have your original money intact. The second thing you're going to have to do is obviously go over to the LCN network, go over to markets and sort them from the largest percentage loss in the past period of time. So you can see I did that there. And what you're going to go through is you're going to look through different stocks. And what we're looking for is a couple different things. But the first thing you're going to notice is the graph on the left hand side of the screen. So what you want to see is the blue line on the graph, which represents the price trend of the stock to have a steady decline for four to five days. Now, this graph here shows a five day period in the stock market. So what you're looking for is for four or five of those days to have that blue line going on a steady decline like this graph shows here. This one had a spike on the first day, which is okay, because after that it had steadily gone down. And as you can see going into the current day, it is plummeting, which is a good thing for the stock or for our investment. So that's the first thing to look out for. Now the second thing, or group of things to look out for are all the numbers on the right hand side. You want to see what the current high, low, actual value or actual price of the stock is, the last average, and then the average change. Now, you're looking for two things. You would like ideally to have the low price also be the current price, which means it's at its current lowest. You also want to see that there's a decent difference between the current price or the current value and the last average. In this case, there's about a $12 difference, which is fairly good. And you also want to check the average change percentage because if it's in the 15 to like 30% or 15 to 25% range, that's pretty good. It means the stock's relatively volatile and you may be able to make a couple percent if you invest at the right time. So once you've found a stock that has all those things, the price has been on the decline for four or five days. The difference in price between the current value and the last average is a decent amount. The current value and the low price are either the exact same or pretty close. And the average change is, you know, the 15 to 20% range. You know that you may have a stock that will earn you money. And I said, May because none of this stuff's guaranteed. It's just something I've found that's worked more often than not. So once you decide to pick up that stock, make sure you put all of your money into that stock because remember, we created a safe file. There should be no way that we lose money. Put all of your money into that stock. And what you're going to do is you're going to sleep and you don't have to create another safe file. Just go to bed, click circle or the back button, come back out. And now the in-game time has skipped. For Michael, it will be six hours. For Franklin, it will be eight. And then for Trevor, it will be 12. And when you come back, there should be, not always, but there should be a percentage increase. I, if I make at least one to 2%, I take the profit. I don't try to go back to sleep and earn more money. I just take the profit, move on to the next stock. And remember, after you sell your stocks, always overwrite your previous save file. So now that money is locked in the bank. If you don't do that, you go invest in another stock and then you happen to lose money. If you were to load up the previous save file, now you don't have the gain that you just made. So make sure you create or you overwrite that other save file right after. So as mentioned before, there will be times where the stock doesn't go up in value and there's no need to worry. 
we created our save file for this exact reason. So here's an example. We had Cluck and Bell. The graph looked good. The current price in relation to the other stats looked pretty good. So I put all of my money into it. So I bought the stock, went to bed, sped up time. And unfortunately, we came back to a negative percentage change. So what I did was I went to bed and slept a few more times to see if we could turn that around. But if you get to the point where you slept four or five times and that hasn't turned around and you don't see a percentage, a positive percentage change, then you just have to load up your previous save file and move on to the next thing. So you can see here, I went into the game menu, went over to load game and then went to my previous save file. So here's another example of me finding a stock that worked out. The graph on Richard's Majestic looked great. The, the data on the side as well looked pretty good. So I made sure to put all of my money in and I said it before, but I cannot stress it enough. You have to put all of your money in in order to make decent gains. Now you will also note or notice that I already have a few hundred million um, with Michael. If you guys are interested in finding out how I got that original few hundred million, then make sure you go check out my zero to $2.5 billion video on my channel. That first portion explains how to get that first few hundred million, which is done with the Leicester assassination missions after completing the big score um, in the story mode. You get massive gains from doing those assassination missions and investing in the stock market. And then from there, you're able to build on top of that. And that's how I made my 2.1 billion. This was uh, the latter half of that method. So this stock took me four or five sleeps to end up getting it to where I wanted to. But you could see in the end, we walked away with a few percent profit, which is pretty good, especially when you're investing hundreds of millions, that couple percent can go a very long way. So this is the exact same thing that I did to get Franklin to 2.1 billion. If you would like me to do a series on trying to get Michael to 2.1 billion, which is the max amount of money you can get in game, please let me know in the comment section down below. I can make shorts out of them and I could also create a series trying to get that elusive $2.1 billion in GTA 5. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're a new, subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below if this made sense. If it didn't, feel free to leave all your questions down below. Let me know how it goes. Hopefully, this video can help make some a few more billionaires in GTA 5 story mode. That's the ultimate goal to help out the community, and I hope this video has helped accomplish that. If you'd like to see any other investment or money-making guides for GTA 5 story mode or online, make sure you drop those in the comment section down below as well. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.